so problem and you can solve this okay so this is your differential equation in this case okay see we have uh, we don't have d's uh, d by dx terms in place of that we have u of n plus 2 u of n plus 1 and u of n okay so we have written some standard left shifting property rules right for u of n plus 2 u of n plus 1 and all right that only we are going to apply it here and we are going to substitute and we are going to solve it okay and they have given some standard uh, fixed values for u0 and u1 that is u0 equal to 0 and u1 equal to 1 okay so now uh, we will solve this uh, as we have discussed the procedure right the first in, uh, thing in procedure first thing we need to take is we need to take the z transform on both sides okay so let's take the z transform on both sides u of n plus 1 plus 3 into u of n equal to z transform of 3 power n okay so again apply the linearity property and split the z transform so it becomes z transform of u of n plus 2 plus take this 4 outside z transform of u of n plus 1 plus 3 take outside z transform of u of n is equal to z transform of 3 power n okay so now apply the there are directly there are the values we need to apply the z transform so the z transform of u of n plus 2 we have discussed it right what it is it is z square into u of z minus u naught minus u1 z inverse right that this is the z transform of u of n plus 2 which we have discussed in now one of the sessions okay you need to be knowing this plus Again, the z transform of u of n plus 1 equal to 4 into z into u of z minus u naught plus 3 into, it's the simple definition that is z transform of u of n is equal to u of z is equal to z transform of 3 power n that is a power n that is we know that it is z by z minus a right so in place of a there is 3 so write it as z by z minus 3 okay so now here we have u naught u naught right and also we have u1 and we have some of the fixed values given in the question right so that substitute that by substituting we get u of z the value of u naught is 0 minus the value of u1 is 1 so i'll write it directly z inverse since u1 is 1 plus 4z into u of z minus 0 plus 3 into u of z equal to z by z minus 3 okay so now uh, only further simplification is left out okay z square into u of z minus z inverse plus 4z into u of z plus 3 into u of z equal to z by z minus 3 okay so now here multiply z square to both the terms so it becomes z square into u of z minus z square z inverse plus 4 z into u of z plus 3 into u of z equal to z by z minus 3 okay so now what is this z square into z inverse so if you bring the z inverse to the denominator it becomes z power 1 right and z square divided by z power 1 means 1 uh, uh, z z will get cancelled so the remaining term here is minus z right so let's write it uh, z square into z inverse is equal to minus z if we simplify it okay plus 4 z into u of z plus 3 into u of z equal to z by z minus 3 so now the next in the procedure the next step here we can see that in these three terms there is a common term that is u of z so we need to write it separately right i've told you right write the u of z separately and write the remaining terms that is z square plus 4 z plus 3 and we have another one more term remaining that is minus z equal to z by z minus 3 right so bring this minus z to the another side as per the procedure i'm following the problem at last we need to get u of z is equal to some term right so that's why i am just doing this 
okay you need to be knowing this here see in these three terms u of z is common i have taken it outside i have written the remaining terms and here the z is uh, left out so i have written it z minus z so now if you bring this minus z to another side it becomes plus z okay so now u of z is equal to means u of we need to bring u of z to one side and all the other terms to another side okay it is equal to z by z minus 3 plus z into this uh, this uh, it's of the quadratic form right so in order to bring it to the partial fraction form we need to use the quadratic formula that is uh, so by using the quadratic formula for this term we get the two roots that is minus 1 and minus 3 that is here i have substituted the value of b minus b plus or minus b square that is 16 16 four square is 16 4 into 3 into 1 so 2 divided by 2 into 1 the value of a is 1 right so we get minus 4 plus or minus 16 minus 12 is 4 square root of 4 is 2 minus 4 plus 2 by 2 or minus 4 minus 2 by 2 that is minus 2 by 2 comma minus 6 by 2 we get the two roots that is minus 1 and minus 3 so again uh, in, instead of this write it as 1 by z plus 1 since the root is minus 1 right into z plus 3 i have written 1 by because i have bring, uh, taken this to another side right so we this gets divided okay so this term remains as it is instead of writing it as divided by this term i have written it separately 1 by okay so now take the lcm for all these terms okay that is u of z is equal to so write it z by z minus 3 into z plus 1 to z plus 3 plus z by z plus 1 into z plus 3 uh, this we have got by taking the lcm okay so now in order to make the common denominator equal uh, we need to write it as z square minus 2z because here we don't have a Uh, z minus 3 right if we don't have here z minus 3 so we need to write z into uh, z minus 3 so the final answer which we get here is z square minus 2z okay after taking the lcm so now we have gotten uh, finally our aim was to get the u of z okay so now we have got u of z So now here uh, we need to apply the partial fraction as we have done in uh, uh, in our few uh, past problems. The same thing here we need to apply the partial fraction and need to find the values for a, b, and c. And and at the end we will get the uh, inverse z transform of this answer. So that is your real solution for this equation. Okay. So now let's solve this. So I have written it in the form of partial fraction that is a z into z plus 3 plus b z into z minus 3 plus c z into z plus 1. So name it as equation star. So again the same thing. The procedure remains the same. That is we need to cancel out the denominator for that we need to take the LCM on the other side. Z plus 3 z minus 3 z plus 1. So the remaining terms are a z into here. What are the terms missing? Z minus three and z plus one, right? Plus b z into z plus three, z plus one, plus c z into z plus three and z minus three. Since we have z plus, okay. So cancel out the denominator. So the remaining terms are a z into z minus 3, z plus 1, plus b z into z plus 3, z plus 1, plus c z into z plus 3 into z minus 3. Okay. So now here again the take the z common on both sides and cancel it out. Okay. So yeah, I have done it. So in this term, I've taken z common, and here also I've taken z common. This is the remaining term. Cancel it. 
so name this equation as equation 1 so here we can see that for a and b we can find the values for c we need to use the coefficient uh, we need to compare the coefficients okay so in order to find the value of a we have z plus 3 common uh, in b and c so we need to put the value of z uh, z as minus 3 right okay so first put the value of z equal to minus 3 so the i'll directly write it so minus uh, z equal to minus 3 so minus 3 minus 2 equal to these two terms will become 0 right so a into minus 3 minus 3 into minus 3 plus 1 So uh, while we solve this we get minus 3 and minus 2 is minus 5 a into minus 3 minus 3 is minus 6 minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2 minus 5 equal to a into 2 f therefore a equal to minus 5 by 2 f ok so now uh, similarly find the value of b so in order to find the value of b here the common term here is minus 3 z minus 3 so you need to put the value of z as 3 to make these two terms 0 so put the z equal to 3 so 3 minus 2 equal to so the term which we are finding here is b right so these two terms will become 0 only this term we need to write it so b into the value of z is 3 minus, uh, 3 plus 3 into 3 plus 1 so 3 minus 2 is 1 b into 6 into 4 3 plus 3 is 6 and 3 plus 1 is 4 1 is equal to b into 24 for b is equal to 1 by 24 okay so now we have found the values for a b and c so now in order to get the value of uh, c uh, uh, a and b we, we have found the values for a and b sorry so in order to get the value of c here we know that the highest degree here is by multiplying these two terms we get the highest degree as z square ok so now let's uh, re uh, rewrite this equation in uh, by multiplying these two terms in all the cases ok and we need to compare this coefficient so i have uh, re uh, rewritten this equation i have rewritten this equation we can see that by multiplying uh, the, these two terms so we get these three terms ok so now here we need to compare the coefficients here uh, there is no z square so this becomes 0 is equal to so here in all the cases we have z square right so we can write it as a plus b plus c ok so now substitute the values for a and b that is 0 is equal to the value of a which we got is minus 5 by 12 plus the value of b is 1 by 24 plus c ok so bring this c to one side so bring this c to other side so it becomes minus c and uh, take the lcm ok so 24 into 5 that is 24 fives are uh, 20 fives are 104 so it is minus 120 plus 2l divided by uh, 24 into 12 24 tens are 240 and uh, 24 tens are 240 and 24 twos are 48 so we get 240 plus 48 that is 288 minus c is equal to minus 120 plus 12 that is equal to minus 108 by 288 ok so now how we can uh, in which table it is divisible ok Okay, let's try with two table itself. So this is uh, 54, 144, 27, and uh, this is 72. So 27 and 72. So yeah, it's divisible by three. So nine threes are and 9 eights are so the final value of c which we got is c is equal to minus 3 by 8 ok by simplifying this we got the value for c so now we got the values for a b and c the similar thing we need to now we need to put them in equation star 
so I've here I have substituted the value for a, b and c. So here it is plus 3 by 8, okay? It's not minus 3 by 8 since we have your minus right here. So yeah, some of sometimes mistake will happen. So yeah, we need to be very careful by solving the problems, okay? So here it is minus 3 by 8. So this minus minus, so it becomes uh, plus 3 by 8, okay? Yeah, so I have substituted the value of a, b and c. The same thing we need to apply the z transform inverse z transform z by z plus 3 plus 1 by 24 z inverse of z by z minus 3 plus 3 by 8 z inverse of z by z plus 1 okay so minus 5 by 12 into here the value of uh, a is minus 3 right minus 3 power n plus 1 by 24 the value of a is 3 power n plus 3 by 8 into the value of uh, a here is minus 1 power n. So this is your required answer. Okay.